Hello everyone, this is Gazelum with Jason and the Boys, and I'm here with another Warframe video. This one is going to be on how to get Prime Warframes and weapons, like the ones you see before you. Um, it's pretty simple for how to get um, Prime Warframes once you figure the methods out, so I will show you right here. If you are looking specifically for how to get Prime Warframes through the Prime Resurgence, please skip to the time shown on the screen right now. Otherwise, let's get into the regular farm. Alright, so the way you get Prime Warframes is to first get the relics you need, and then you have to unlock those relics and get lucky getting the drops that you want. So, to see the relics that you need to get a specific Warframe, you just come to your mod station over here at the center of your orbiter, and then you search the name of the Warframe you want to do. So, in my case, I will go ahead and search up Nidus Prime, and you can see the type of relics that Nidus Prime will do. Um, as you can see, I have several different relics that have Nidus Prime parts, this one has the Neuroptics, this one has got the Systems, this one has got the Main Blueprint, and this one has got the Chassis Blueprint. So it's just like regular Warframes, you got those four parts that you need to build it, and then you can go ham three days later playing that amazing frame. So, um, some of these drops are a little bit more rare though. For instance, the Nidus Prime Chassis is very rare, as well as the Nidus Prime Neuroptics. So what I've done on this relic is I have made it Radiant. So how you make something Radiant is by clicking on the relic, then you go to Radiant, and then you go ahead and say Refine to Radiant. Yes, and that will make it a Radiant Relic. And this does cost Void Fissure Traces, Void Traces. And um, to make it Radiant costs 100, but it is totally worth it if you're going for that rare drop, because anything short of Radiant is just not good enough. Even Radiant, it is only a 10% drop chance to get the rare part, so you're going to need some help. How you get help getting those parts is by going to the chat here, and you want to say that you are looking for a rad share in that relic. So in our case, we will go ahead and say, say we want the Nidus. So we want to do a rad share for the N16, meaning that we want all four people in our squad to have the same relic, the N16 relic. And we also want the rare or uncommon drops. And so with all four of you having the same relic that's Radiant, then it is more likely that you will get the rare drop or an uncommon drop that you want. So what you would do is that was the, uh, which one was that one? The Nidus N16, okay. So what we do is we would just go to the chat here, we just say looking for, we can say Neo N16 relic, and then you can say rad share, and you would just post that into the chat and someone can message you or invite you to their squad and that is how you do those radiant shares and eventually you'll get lucky and get all the drops that you want if you're looking just for the common drops on certain things for instance this drop it is a lot easier to get these ones you might not even have to do a rad share you could probably just um, take a bunch of these relics out if you have enough and try to get it that way. Or if you wanted to, you could do an int share, meaning all the relics are intact for the squad. You would just say looking for, and then you would say um, that's the meso a3 relic int share. And that means that everybody is going to have an intact relic. And that will make it a lot more likely for you to get one of these three drops. Okay, that is basically how you get Prime Warframes. For a lot of you watching right now, the Prime Resurgence is going on. This is a limited time event to get um, vaulted Primes like the one I'm wearing. Siren Prime has been vaulted for a while now. So to get these frames, you first have to have a resource called Aya, and then after you have the Aya, you go to Morrow's Bazaar. 
Um, if you don't have Aya, basically just go to an open world mission and farm a bunch of those missions up. Um, but once you get that Aya, you just come here to Varzia Dax if she's here. If not, then the event is probably already ended for you. Maybe it will come again. Honestly, who knows at this point. But yeah, you just come up to Varzia Dax. You say hello, and you get some browse wares. And you can see all the relics that she's selling. If you want to, of course, you can buy them for a whole bunch of money. This equates to money, sadly. Or you can buy them for platinum from people. Or you can just buy the relics with Aya. As you can see, I've already bought two of this relic. I've already gotten the things I need, so I won't need any more. But yeah, you can buy these relics and farm up these Prime Warframes just like the other ones. Only that these Warframes will be a lot harder to get before and after this event. So these are definitely farming up, worth farming up if you don't have them already. Anyways, that is how you get Prime Warframes. Um, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye!